These two blocks are the same color and the same size. Both are at room temperature. Let's put an ice cube on each and see what happens. One of them, the ice cube melts much faster than the other. There's one difference between the two. One of them is a conductor, the other an insulator. The block to the left is a conductor made of metal. Energy, whether it's heat or electrical, moves easily through the conductor. This is the reason why electric wires as well as pots and pans are made of metal. In the case of this block, the heat energy moves through the block much more easily and melts the ice cube within minutes. The block to the right is an insulator made of styrofoam. Insulators resist the movement of heat energy. That's why many houses are insulated with foams and why hot cocoa is served in a styrofoam cup. In the case of the styrofoam block, the heat energy from the air moves through it much more slowly. It took over an hour for the ice cube to melt on the styrofoam block. The insulating properties of styrofoam make it an ideal material for transporting messenger RNA vaccines, which need to be kept at extremely low temperatures. Dry ice lowers the temperature of the box to negative 78 degrees Celsius, or about negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Styrofoam resists heat from entering the box, keeping the temperature of the box stable for a long time. Styrofoam is also cheap, light, and reusable, making it the material of choice for transporting millions of messenger RNA vaccines all over the world.